Boos. That's right. Starting the day off with a little Nirvana. Those crazy kids from Seattle. That's right. And Kurt Cobain had a lot of connections here to Portland. More specifically, the watch that he chose to wear, including the day he passed, is actually the watch he had on. So stay tuned. Today's a good one. A lot of iconic Portland, including Tom Peterson as well. Yep, got a new addition to the Creeper Cruiser. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video, but we talked briefly about today. And I am stoked because it's actually my five year anniversary today. Happy 4th of July to you guys as well. And I uh, hope you guys have a safe and happy 4th. But yeah, we're celebrating five years today and I thought, heck it, let's do something really good. I wanted to, I've been wanting to do this vlog for a while. I've been kind of putting all together going down the rabbit hole doing my research for it so if you're a fan of Kurt Cobain, Nirvana, Tom Peterson or just Portland in general you're not going to want to miss it so stay tuned we're heading into southeast now all right we are here cruising up Foster maneuvering our way to the old Tom Peterson's and if you guys aren't familiar with that name, which if you're from Portland, you probably recognize the name. Probably remember him as well. A very iconic pitch man here, owned a couple TV and appliance buildings way back in the day. It was one of the very first places to offer rentable VHS players. In fact, I think we can go down kind of this back road here. And he was friends with a ton of other Portland folks, Rowdy Piper, his involvement with Portland Wrestling. He was a promoter for them. He was friends with Gus Van Zant, the movie producer and director. He was friends with Courtney Love. And if you guys know, Courtney Love actually used to dance here at the Mary's Club. And she actually met Kurt Cobain at the Satyricon Theater, which we have a whole playlist up above of all the old Tom Peterson and Portland connections. But this right here, in fact, was his fourth location where it says Hong's Restaurant, or I'm sorry, it's Hong's Inc. Restaurant Equipment and Supplies. And at one point, Tom had this whole block, and this was his kind of car stereo surplus. If you guys can see here, this old sign here actually had his very iconic image on it as well a big Tom Peterson head that used to be all over Portland you couldn't really go up and down 82nd here without seeing his face and it was right up there where that arrow is but in fact this building here was his third location would actually closed for a while and then after the closing of his store where we're gonna head next they kind of reopened and revamped this location and I actually found some really cool old-timey shots of Tom and Gloria hanging out here in the front Tom kind of like I said having his face all over Portland here would have his signs up top here re whoop, up top here reading you know Tom Peterson's and Gloria's too and when I say Gloria's too Gloria his wife was actually the one that kind of saved the company years later after their very first store kind of closed up. She, uh, they were able to use the moniker and save that kind of, the name through all the court and bankruptcy proceedings and stuff. They just kind of renamed it to Tom Peterson's and Gloria's too. But yeah, this is where you would have gone to get your hair cut and at one point the trolley he had a trolley that would run through here as well so yeah just a very famous famous iconic pitch man like i said did a lot of work with portland wrestling but this is it tom peterson's and glorious too and the tie-in to this is like i said kurt kurt meeting courtney here in portland at the satiricon courtney actually danced at the mary's club which wasn't too far from the satiricon bar at the time and 
Nirvana was on tour back then for a No On Nine campaign that they were doing with some other bands. They played at the Portland Meadows concert show. And when they came to town, I believe since Courtney knew Tom and was connected with Gus Van Zant and them already, Courtney picked up some merchandise from Tom Peterson's, including the free watch that he would give out with all the purchases. And that was actually the watch that Kurt would wear pretty much in a ton of videos and music spots that I, or music uh, flyers for the band and whatnot. He'd always be rocking that Tom Peterson's watch. And like I said, unfortunately, if you guys know the story, Kurt was either murdered or committed suicide. No one really knows the full story. But like I said, he was wearing that iconic Tom Peterson's watch in the photo. And if you don't really know Tom Peterson or recognize that face, maybe you wouldn't realize that that was actually him, but it's got that connection to Portland, which I thought was so cool. And like I said, you pretty much couldn't go anywhere in Portland without seeing his face. Now after this, we're gonna cruise over just across on 82nd was another one of his locations. They actually renamed it Peterson Plaza when they were reconstructing it just because, you know, of his fame and what everything that he did for, for Portland. Um, but we're gonna cruise over there now because not only do they have it renamed Peterson Plaza, there's a cute little thing behind the shop, the little surprise I wanna show you guys. But yeah, this is uh, Four Seasons Beauty Supply, but back in the day you would have seen all this red brick and you would have seen Tom and Gloria's face up here with a really nice little mural rendition. I actually found some old timey pictures up there of when it was the Tom Peterson's and Gloria's too. Crazy. All right, let's go over to his other location. There's a few things over there I wanna show you guys, including a really cool rendition. Well, we'll I'll show you guys when we get there. Yep, the sign has seen better days, but like I said, you couldn't have gone anywhere in town without seeing Tom's face. And then they opened up this location. And I believe the little trolley would roll right through here. I'm not sure the exact route it would take, but where we're heading is just right through this parking lot onto the 82nd and Foster Road right in front of us here, this little complex. But yeah, Kurt was rocking that watch the day he died. And in a lot of the official, you know, detective photos and stuff, you can see the watch very clearly. So really unfortunate. Not, not too many people know the full story about how he obtained that watch. And I'm not sure if mine is 100%. So if you guys know more, definitely let me know. But like I said, just right across the street here is Peterson Plaza which is so cool that they renamed for Tom and Gloria. Let's go check it out. And then there's something just directly behind it too I wanna show you guys. So his well-known shop sat right here and his face would have been right up top there, right in this little area. But this was all Tom Peterson's basically all along here. You would have seen, you know, his face and his store rested right kind of back here where the main doors are there for where it says Centro, you would have seen his picture. And there you have it right up top there. Peterson Plaza. Yeah, Kurt knew good people. All right, we're just gonna maneuver back behind here. And I'm hoping this is still here. This was here, oh, just about a month ago. We've actually videoed this before on the vlog. Nice. Whoop, <laughs> my bell kind of rang as we hit that curb. Check this out, you guys. Nice, this is so cool, I love this. So his shop was right here in this lot. And here is Tom in this picture. Like I said, this big Tom Peterson, you couldn't see. I mean, you could see very well. You could not not see it, that's what I'm trying to say. I just love this tribute. Free is a very good price. And this 
like I said, his picture here was on all his merch. And in fact, I want to try and get a Tom Peterson shirt. I was looking at him online. But his very iconic face here was on the watch that Kurt was wearing that day, unfortunately, when he passed. Um, but I love that they have this back here, not only for such an iconic, you know, Portlander, well, two iconic Portlanders, really. But, you know, just the tie-in to Nirvana, Portland, Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain, the whole thing. Pretty darn cool. Headstones, they're buried up at Lincoln Memorial. I bought this from Kathy Peterson. Really? Yeah, and I know Robert Condon that ran Tom Peterson after uh, Tom started getting a little bit... Uh, uh, up there say. in his years. Yeah, we'll say that. That's nice and, of you to say. Um, so this was their property as well. Yeah, this was Kathy Interesting. She, that's, she their, that's their daughter. Yeah, and she's yeah. dead too. She, wow. Yeah, Gloria passed like last year, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, and, and what I did is I had Tom, Tom Peterson on there, and when Gloria died, I made Gloria and put... Uh, Tom Peterson and Gloria's this too. That because they're I just did the vlog because they this was their location here. Right. But then they moved. This this was their second, and then they had the third, and yeah. then they actually once this stopped, kind of the trolley and the haircuts. Yeah, then right. they reopened again across in their original right. one. Uh -huh. I've been going down the oh, rabbit right hole because I'm from here. I love Tom yeah. and the whole connection to Nirvana as well. Oh really? Because okay, the, watch, that. the watch, the watch that Kurt oh, was yeah. wearing when he oh, passed. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. And oh. unfortunately, Kurt passed. Who knows if yeah. he was murdered or suicide? Right. But ironically, Courtney Love danced at Mary's Club. Oh, she right. worked. She worked at Mary's Club. Oh, I know where that was. Yeah. Right? Nirvana came to tour the Satyricon, which is two blocks from Mary's. Uh -huh. Courtney met Kurt at Satyricon. She oh, knew wow, Tom cool. already through Gus Van Zant. Oh, and then so they came to that's buy... I believe this is how it went. I could have my story misconstrued. Uh -huh. But Tom gifted the watches with the purchases oh, yeah. and the alarm clocks. And I believe yeah. Courtney purchased some TVs or something because they did have a place around here at one point oh, wow. and I believe Crazy. she gave the watch then that to Kurt crazy. but Kurt rocked the t-shirt on stage oh, yeah. too <laughs> so it must have hit Tom and Gloria yeah. hard yeah you know I got um, watches and I got appliances still. you've got a watch yeah I can you bring a watch out yeah, I would I love you forever there. yeah, yeah. I oh my gosh. I, I got <gasps> different stuff from Tom because of course the oh appliances and still working I never thought I'd get to see. I mean, okay, I seen the watch about two years ago at a little antique store, and my grandma actually had the alarm clock. Yeah, I don't know. The wake up, I wake have. up to a happy day, and he'd tap the glass oh, on the. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was so cool. And then the yeah. Portland wrestling. Oh I mean, yeah, and I lived by the armory, so I was a Portland wrestling fan. Oh, that's I so cool. This, Let me yeah. give you some knuckles on that one, yeah, bro. Dude, like he's going to get the watch. Yeah, no yeah. way. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are in such luck. So. You know, when you do these, you just never really think what's going to happen. I mean, I was just like, wow, I wanted to come show you guys the locations. And then I wanted to tell you guys the story about, you know, how Kurt was wearing the watch and how Courtney knew Tom and the whole tie-in. And then I saw this gentleman kind of taking his uh, garbage out here. And I said, oh, man, what a great memorial for Tom. Did you know, you know, and it's connected to his house. He said, I'm the artist. I'm the one that did it. So we're sitting here talking and just reminiscing about Portland and Portland wrestling and Tom and, and Gloria's too. And then he said, I actually still have the watch. And that's what he's going to, he's going to go try and find it. So, oh my gosh, this is so cool. We're actually going to be able to see the watch that Kurt was rocking. <laughs> yes. Oh I my, oh yeah. my gosh. No way. It's in the actual kit. Oh my god, bro! I'm almost like getting emotional right now. This That's is uh, crazy. Let's do it. Let's just do a man. You hanging out because it's good to meet you. I want to get you on the vlog. And so he's got the watch, and we're here. We're at the old Tom Peterson's. We got Gloria and Tom hanging, and he's got the watch. That is just so cool. How now? Did you get that from Tom? Um, yes, I did. Wow. I, I got that from actually Robert Condon that ran it. Ran and I have uh, stools and I have furniture, wow. dish, dishwasher, stove, and refrigerator that still are going, believe it or not, in good condition. That's when he made it. stuff to last. <laughs> and Tom was like, yeah. 
bike today, yeah. get a haircut, ride the right. trolley, and have yeah. your washer run for 40 years. Right. That's cool, when they the made cool the, the Bud's TVs and the <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, This is awesome. This is a true right. Portlander right here. Yeah, right. So cool. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, Creeper out for now. Peace.